Hi guys, today we are going to be making one of these fellas. It's a fall guy. So everybody's talking about them, everybody's playing the game. Let's do it to it. Right, the first thing what you need is one of these little plastic eggs. Grab yourself some sandpaper and rough up the outside. That'll help it when you try and apply the air drying clear. Try it without doing that and it kind of slides around and makes it really difficult. So it's worth doing a couple of seconds. Next, the wire. What you want to do is, if you have a look at the bottom of the egg, I've put a couple of holes in there and you just form some wire to make some legs. It's really easy to do, um, especially if you get the thinner garden wire. A couple of holes at the top and get a length of wire and feed it through. Those will become the arms for your fall guy. Petal pliers, that will clip off any excess that you have. And try and round the ends off, you don't want the sharp bits sticking through your clear. There we go, that's kind of the basic shape that we will form the rest of the model around. Now, grab your clear. <laughs> so, I got a really big box of various colours from Amazon. Um, it was just a few quid, and this gives you lots of options. Uh, so, grab a few colours, blend them together, and make something that you like the look of. There's plenty of different colours of Fall Guys, so there's no real wrong colour. Make sure you make plenty of your colour. You don't want to be going back and trying to have to match up if you run out. Next, tin foil. Um, just any kitchen tin foil. Scrumple it up and pad out the egg. If you start trying to model on top of the egg, it'll probably collapse. Use plenty. More the merrier with this. Get it in there really tight and that will hold the arms in place as well, the arms and legs. Then with a little bit more, start to form up the body. Um, you can see I've taped it on there to kind of give the head a little bit more height. More again, and this is for around the arms and the legs. Just so you don't have the sharp wire sticking through. Next thing you want to do is grab a little bit of the white clear and form a ball and press that into a disc that will be your fall guys face it's better to make this larger than smaller because we're going to cover that with the colored clear for the outside or the shell of the the fall guy now the best way to get the fall guys little round face i found was because the air clear dries quickly so you've got to move quite sharp so roll out the piece relatively thin and then find something circular cut round. I found a two pence piece was about the right size for my model anyway. Take your time here because it can be a little bit tricky to cut. It's very elastic and bouncy. So slowly does it and make sure your edges are all nice and neat. Now, once you've got that applied, it's pretty easy from here on out. All you keep doing then is cutting sheets and applying it to the outside. Build up where necessary to give them bulk. Um, be careful of the joins because obviously this air clear does dry really quickly. Um, and if you try to go over a join, um, it becomes quite messy. The only thing I can say is you can apply a little bit of water to get the um, flexibility back in it and you can cover the seam quite well doing that. Every now and then check if your fall guy stands still. Um, you don't want to go too far and find that he's lopsided and whatever so keep standing them up and pressing them to make sure he holds his form. Next is the hands. So with a pair of scissors take your time with this. We want to be cutting three fingers and a thumb. The thumb is quite a bit shorter. Um, 
cut little triangles out in between each of the digits that'll give some space and make it easier to pose the hands. Now while I understand there's probably better materials out there for modeling, I do like the air drying clay. It gives the kind of durable, soft feel that I imagine the Fall Guys to have. I don't want it to be a hard resiny type thing. It needs to be light, fun, friendly. You can see me using the water trick just to smooth off a few of the joints where I went back to add a little bit of bulk to his belly. Next, some black clear. Um, be careful with this because the black clear will stain the white clear when you apply this to the face. So make sure you get the position right. So form two little sausages and they will be the eyes. The eyes go just below the center line. Um, so make sure you're looking at the reference of the face. I took some pictures from the, the computer game. Grab some water and apply a little bit to the face. This will give you a tiny little bit of leeway um, to slide the eye around if needs be. But again, just be careful because it will stain the white. There we go. Looking really good. Finally, go around your model looking for places if you need to apply more detail. I found that there's a little crease just above the belly. There's some lines behind knees, elbows, if you want to apply um, anything like that. Make sure you do it whilst the clear is still moist enough to take the indentation. Now, as a little bonus, I thought it'd be really cool if we could make him a little crown. So I just used some plastic from a milk carton. Um, and then just applied some of the yellow clear around that and left the whole thing to dry. So what's the best thing to do whilst you're waiting for a fall guy to dry? Okay, fall guy! Mm -hmm. So, once he's dried, hooray! Check him out, cool. And also, if you enjoyed today's video, please like, subscribe, share it around, um, all that good stuff. And uh, thanks, see ya!